building a store on Shopify is probably one of the best ways to start making sales inside of your e-commerce business as quickly as possible. And because Shopify can be a little bit challenging to understand at first, if you're just getting started with building stores, that's what I'm here today to help you with. In today's video, I'll be helping you figure out exactly how to build a Shopify store and how to actually start making your first sales on the internet in the United Kingdom. Specifically, we'll cover everything you need to know about building a Shopify store in the United Kingdom, local rules, local regulations, and of course, covering the things that you need to know when it comes to actually building your store and how to do so effectively. Also, don't skip around on this video and make sure to follow me all the way through from the beginning to the end. It's gonna be the best possible way that you keep up with everything in this video and you don't make any mistakes. But without further ado, Let's get into the tutorial. Now, the first thing you'll want to consider when you're building your Shopify store in the United Kingdom is the stark differences there are in laws and regulations. One of the biggest things for this is data protection and consumer privacy laws. In Great Britain, these are known as the GDPR. You're definitely going to want to read over the GDPR and make sure that you're compliant with everything that they ask. You're also going to want to make sure that whatever domain you end up going with is either .co or .uk for that specific region. Those are, of course, locally based United United Kingdom domain extensions, and it's definitely what you're going to want to have at the end of your website. One of the greatest things you want to consider too is actually the local language that they use. Now, of course, people in the United Kingdom do speak English. However, it is important to realize that they do spell quite a few words a little bit differently, meaning that for a word like color isn't spelled C-O-L-O-R, it's C-O-L-O-U-R. And then of course, there's other stark differences in that as well. And then of course, for the rest of this, you want to make sure that you're keeping in compliance with local norms, customs, and traditions, making sure that you're within the cultural norms and practices is of, of course, the United Kingdom. Now that we've talked about some of the technical aspects of though, let's get into the actual tutorial. Now, the first thing you want to do to get access to the best deal possible when getting started with Shopify is by using the link down in the description. Once you click that link, you'll be taken to a page that looks like this. This is Shopify's first page that you'll see when you use that link. And this is how you're going to get access to your first month for only one pound. This is a pretty awesome deal. What this means is that you can start building your Shopify store, get everything set up properly, and of course, even start making revenue without actually having to pay their full monthly subscription fee. So we would definitely recommend getting started with this by using the link down in the description. Plus, you should probably follow along with me so that way you don't make any mistakes. Now, all we have to do is enter in our email address and start the free trial. Once we click this button, it'll take a few seconds for everything to get set up properly. And just like that, Shopify is going to be in asking us questions. Now, you could skip this, but for the sake of this video, and so that way there's no confusion, we're going to go through each of these questions together. The first of these is that let's get started. Which of these best describes you? And this is basically just going to help them figure out exactly what your business needs. We have the option to choose between I'm just starting or I'm already selling in person. For the sake of this video, we're going to say that we're just getting started. We'll hit the next button here, and then it'll take us to this page where it'll ask us what we would like to sell. Now we can choose any of these for this specific video, but we can look over and see what they have as our options. We can either create an online store, which is a fully customizable website. We can sell in person at retail stores, pop-ups, or other physical locations. We can have an existing website or blog and add a buy button to our website. We can have social media integration for things like Facebook, Instagram, or even TikTok. TikTok, and then of course, online marketplaces like Etsy, Amazon, and more. Now, for the sake of this video, I'm going to show you just how to create a fully customizable website inside of Shopify by clicking this button right here. We're then going to hit the next button. And then of course, it's going to ask us, what do you plan to sell first? Now we can either say that we buy or make the products ourselves, which would be shipped by us. We make digital products like music, digital art, or NFTs. We drop ship products, which are sourced or shipped by a third party. We have services like coaching, housekeeping, or consulting, or maybe even we have a print on demand business where we're creating designs that are only created the second we get an order. We'll just show you how to basically have products that we either buy or make ourselves and we'll click this one. We'll then go down here and hit the next button. Now we simply just have to pick where our business will be located, which of course in this case would be the United Kingdom and hit the next button. Now we simply have to create a quick little Shopify account. We can do it with any of these options that we have displayed here, whether that's sign up with an email, sign up with our Apple account, sign up with Facebook, or sign up with Google. For the sake of this video, we'll sign up with our email. We'll simply enter in our email address and create a quick password. Once we have all of this filled out, we'll simply click the create Shopify account button. Now it'll, it'll only take a few seconds for everything to load up properly. And once it's fully loaded, we can start customizing our website. And just like that, we are officially inside of Shopify's admin page. As you can see up here, we're still getting access to that first month for only one pound. And then if we go down here, we have a quick setup guide that they're going to take us through. Now this is really good if you want to do things like set up your actual store settings, more specifically adding things like your business documents, which of course you're definitely going to need in this setup process. And of course, things like shipping, taxes and duties, 
and of course a host of other important settings. Now we have a whole video going over those finite settings on a different part of this channel, which you can definitely go check out. But for this video, I wanna show you guys specifically how to actually build your Shopify store in the first place. The first thing you'll wanna do is head over to the left here and click on the online store tab. Once you click on the online store tab, you'll have a few sub tabs that pop up. You'll have their themes tab, their blog post tab, their pages tab, their navigation tab, and their preferences tab. If we click on this, it should bring us right to the themes tab, which is where we wanna be. As you can see, this is the theme that we have to choose from currently, which is their Dawn theme. The Dawn theme is a default theme, so that is what we'll probably end up going with. Just to show you guys though, there are a ton of Shopify templates and themes out there that you can choose from. Each of them specifically designed towards a specific type of product or type of store that you're trying to build. Now, if we wanna actually start making changes to this overall theme, we'll simply head down here to where it says customize and click this button. Now, as you can see, we are officially inside of Shopify store editor. This editor itself is extremely easy to use and it's super user-friendly. I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step -step each part of this store editor and show you how to use it to the full capability. Now, first things First, if you guys want to look at any parts of your website, you simply just click on that part of the website. And then on the left, you'll pop up with a little tab here where you can start making edits to the settings. The first thing here is something like this with the desktop logo position. We can change it to the top left, the top center, the middle left, or the middle center. Below this is our menu option. This is where we can change the way the menu looks or even add a brand new menu altogether. We also have our desktop menu option, our sticky header, our color scheme, which we can actually change pretty easily here, our menu color scheme, which we can also change very easily. Our country region selector, which is going to be important that you choose obviously Great Britain, language selector, customer accounts login, and a host of other super helpful mobile layout editing things that you can do for people that are using an iPhone. Now that's basically how you can access and start making simple edits, but what if I want to change things like this big giant image banner that we have right here. Well, the first thing I would do is click on the image banner. And then of course that left tab would pop up once again. I then can do things like change the first image, change the second image. I can change the image overlay opacity. I can then change the banner height. I also have the option to have the desktop content position or even desktop content alignment. And then of course I can also change the color scheme once again. I can even add animations here if I want a kind of animation when this pops up. And then of course there's also the mobile layout features as well. Now that's great enough but what if I wanna change this heading right here on this image banner? I would simply click this heading and then on the left here, we have the option to change the heading and make it say whatever we want to say. We can also change the size of the heading if we want it to be extra large or small. Now that's pretty much how to edit the actual theme. Let's talk about adding things to this theme in the first place. The first thing you'll wanna do is head down here to the add section button. Once you click the add section button, you then can do a few different things here. You can either add an app from a third party source or add some of their pre-existing sections that they have already at your disposal. You can add things like a collection list, rich text, image with text, image banner, or even a slideshow, plus a host of other options here as well. Let's say we want to add something like a product slideshow. We'll just click the slideshow button. And just like that, it will add it right there between our image banner and the feature product section that we have down here. And just like that, we can start making edits this any way we would like by simply clicking on it and then having this left tab where we'll edit everything. And that's pretty much all you have to really do. Like I said, shop Shopify is super intuitive and incredibly easy to use. If you guys are curious about getting started with Shopify, make sure to use the link down in the description of this video. It's how you're going to get access to the best possible deals and get an amazing discount in the process. Plus, you'll be able to get started with Shopify for only $1 for your first month, which is a huge benefit. Also, please remember that this is an affiliate link and we do earn a small commission from each sign up that we get. So thank you in advance for supporting the channel. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in a future video.